Among family in Junction City has now relocated, fearing their safety. This comes after their neighbor shot toward them earlier this month. When arrested, the Junction City man, Henry Kaminsky, told an officer he felt there were too many Hmong people in the area. Today, one representative is speaking out. News Channel 7, Stephanie Buffamonti met with Representative Katrina Shanklin. And Stephanie, what message did she share with you tonight? Heather, Representative Shanklin is asking the residents of Portage County to treat the Hmong community with respect. And this comes not only after the Junction City incident, but also after she received an anonymous letter asking the court to deport all Hmongs. This letter causing fear for some Hmong residents in Portage County. It really sunk into me that if there was one person who can think this way and can come out like this, um, how many more are waiting to um, cause harm or how many more are waiting um, are, are going to be voicing out their voices of hate soon. Representative Shanklin shared it on Facebook to spread the message that Hmong people are contributing citizens in the community. They're committed to our community just as much as their neighbors are and we need to honor and respect them. She says it's a topic that needs to be heard. I think unfortunately we don't talk about race very much um, probably because um, we're a predominantly white county, but the Hmong people deserve to have an equal voice and equal recognition in our community. We should be welcoming them with open arms. It's not, um, it's not your community, it's not our community, it's, it's everybody's community that, that live in this central Wisconsin here, Spoon's Plain. Hmong American Association's Chai Moa and Sua Chang are shocked. Moa says incidents like these bring back bad memories, something the family in Junction City, whose neighbor shot toward them, before making hateful remarks about Hmong people to an officer, admitted to having. Well, we're trauma and uh, we've moved from country to country before um, because we were no longer safe in our homes and, you know, we come to the United States where we think it's safe and it's kind of history repeating itself all over again. The Southern Poverty Law Center reports that hate groups operating in our country are at historic highs something Shanklin says needs to change. And I'm deeply troubled by the open uh, accounts of bigotry and hatred and racism that we've seen spike across the country. She says here in Portage County, learning about the Hmong culture can help. Ensure that everyone at least knows the history and can be more informed so that hopefully they don't make similar mistakes in the future. And Representative Shanklin does say education can help. That's why she authored a bill that would direct school boards to provide instruction about the recent history of Hmong people. It has been referred to a committee on education. The next step, Shanklin is pushing for a public hearing. All right, Stephanie Buffamonte live in the studio. Thank you.